Hey guys, welcome back to Burst TV. My name is Chris Michelle. I am a registered dental hygienist and a senior Burst ambassador. And today, we're gonna get clinical. Let's get clinical, clinical. I wanna get clinical with sealants. So in today's video, we're going to discuss what is a sealant, who can actually benefit from sealants, and how they're performed in the dental office. So stay tuned. So what is a sealant? A sealant is a physical barrier that is used to protect the occlusal surfaces of your teeth. Occlusal surfaces means it's the chewing surfaces of your teeth or the natural grooves that you see in your molars, in your premolars, or bicuspids. Um, in an office, you'll typically see us use a resin that's going to be used to seal those natural grooves, those pits and fissures, so that way it protects you from any potential bacteria. So who can benefit from sealants? Well, sealants is a preventative procedure done in a dental office, done by a professional, a dentist, a dental hygienist, or even a dental assistant. So anyone, doesn't matter the age, kid or adult, is eligible to get sealants. For kids, we usually like to seal them right when their first permanent molars come in. So it's just easier for kids to just really clean, you know, keep their mouths clean because they're learning. They're learning how to brush at the same time as their teeth are coming in. It also gives parents a peace of mind knowing that their kids' teeth are protected and they don't have to worry about any type of bacteria getting in those hard to reach areas. So for my adult patients, I typically like to suggest sealants if, for example, they have xerostomia, which is dry mouth, because dry mouth is an increasing factor for bacteria sticking on to the teeth or um, having a lot of plaque buildup. I like to suggest that as an option. I would also suggest patients who have really deep pits and fissures and they're just having a really hard time getting the plaque or any stain out of those grooves, I like to suggest sealants so that way, you know, it prevents them from, you know, something worse. And also those patients who have a history of getting cavities, this is a really great way to also prevent them from any serious oral health issues. All right, so for any dental procedure, you wanna make sure you have all your materials that you need to have a successful and efficient treatment especially for placing sealants. And the key word to placing sealants is dry. You need your, the working area in the mouth to be extremely dry to have a successful sealant placement. So um, the next few clips, you're gonna see me do a close up of how a sealant is performed on a little model tooth. I'm also gonna show you some clips of me actually performing sealants on some young patients. All right, so the materials that you need for a good sealant is, of course, the sealant, and you need an etch. So the etch is a type of acid that kind of dehydr dehydrates the tooth. So it kind of opens up those pores, it opens up the grooves. That way it makes the sealant a lot easier to really seep in and adhere to the tooth. So it's, it kind of acts as an adhesive. And then, you, of course, you're gonna need your curing light. So it's actually going to shine on the sealant and harden so that the way the sealant is not going anywhere. Also for good sealants, like I said, keyword dry, you want to make sure you have all the drying aids of your choice um, because you want, you want nothing to disrupt that sealant because if anything disrupts it, um, such as saliva or water, you'll have to do all the steps again um, and it just, you know, it just makes the process a little bit longer. So choose a dry aids of your choice. Sometimes I like to use gauze or I like to use cotton rolls. Um, in my office, I have extra, you know, barriers I can use. Sometimes I use these Denipops, which are really nice. I can access the lower teeth pretty nicely with these and they're somewhat comfortable for the patients. But lately I've been using this thing called an ice light which is autoclavable, so I can heat sterilize it after I'm done using it um, with a patient. I can also stick my suction in it, so it's gonna act as a really great um, 
dry shield um, as well as a bite block for my patient, making it a little bit more comfortable for them. The first step to a successful sealant is making sure the tooth that you're working on is nice and clean. There's no plaque, there's nothing working against you and the sealants. So what I like to use is a pumice, which is kind of similar to what you would get at a cleaning, that polishing paste that's typically at the end of your appointment. This is a little bit more grittier. So this grit is gonna really remove any leftover plaque, any staining in those natural grooves. So I'm over here, I am using my little tapered brush, wetting it down a little bit, wetting down the pumice, and really polishing off any remnants of plaque or stain in the tooth. So once that is cleaned off, I will just rinse it off, clean it off, and dry it. Again, dry, 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 that is the key to sealants, guys. So once the tooth is nice and dry, it is time to etch. So etching, like I said, is that an acid that kind of opens up the tooth the tooth surface so that way the sealant can actually adhere and the retention can last long. So we go ahead and add the etch. We like to let the etch sit for about 15 to 20 seconds. I like to also use my explorer and kind of agitate around those around the grooves. You want to move around the edge so that way I know for sure it's getting in all the areas that I want the sealant to, to seep into. So once that sits for a good 15 to 20 seconds, it's time to rinse off and dry again. So once the edge has been rinsed off and I've dried it off really, really nicely, what we want to see is a frosty white appearance. If the etch is not giving that frosty white appearance, then we probably need to etch again and wait another 15-20 seconds so we can get that nice frosty white color on the tooth. So once the tooth is a frosty white appearance, it is time to seal. Knowing that you have a, we have a nice working dry space, we're going to go ahead and place our sealant. So I remember from hygiene school, they always told us rivers, not lakes. So I, I'm going to put it right in the grooves of the teeth, exactly where I want it to be. And I will sometimes use my Explorer and kind of move around the sealant so that way it's right in the grooves and nowhere else. Mm -hmm. So once the sealant is placed in the pits and fissures of the tooth, then it is time to cure. Once it's set, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light, let it do its job, wait till the light is turned off, and then I'm ready to check my sealant. To make sure that the sealant has been placed correctly, I will again take my explorer and feel around the top of the, top of the surface and see if my explorer glides on the sealant. And if it glides on the sealant, then we know for sure that the sealant has been placed properly. If it's still kind of sticking or if the sealant has popped off, then we might have to redo the sealant again and probably etch and do that whole process to make sure the sealant is properly placed. So that is why dry, dry, dry is the key word because we want that sealant to stick on and last forever as long as the patient has good hygiene. All right, so on my patients, on my young patients, uh, in the video you'll see me, I'll see me polishing with the pumice and I did this actually before I cleaned their teeth. So first things first, I went ahead and got my pumice ready, got my tapered tube my tapered profi head and started polishing their teeth, polishing the teeth that I knew I was going to seal. And once I got that cleaned off, I went ahead and used my eye slide and had my suction um, put in there, kind of wet it around a little bit to make it a little bit more comfortable for him. He was a great patient. I'm lucky to have some really awesome young patients in my chair, so he was a trooper. So once I got the isolite in, I just want to make sure my whole working area is nice and dry and nothing is going to disrupt the sealant process. So I went ahead and etched, waited 15 to 20 seconds, rinsed that off, dried it off, and then went ahead and placed my sealant because I knew everything looked good. So once I placed my sealant in the grooves of the teeth, I went ahead and grabbed my curing light cured it, wait till the light was off, and checked it with my Explorer and everything was smooth, smooth, smooth. 
really easy process. I really enjoy doing sealants because happy teeth means happy patients and happy parents <laughs> in most cases. So remember, your dental professional is here to help you and prevent you from any serious oral health issues in the future. So sealants is a really, really neat way to protect your teeth. So if you have any questions or need to know if you're eligible for getting sealants, ask your dental professional and they'll be sure to help you and give you all the information that you need.